Throughout the shear and bending moment diagrams for the beam cantilevered under the wall with a 2 kilonewton per meter distributed load over the 5 meter length of the beam. First thing you have to do is a free body diagram. At a wall, you have two forces, AX, AY, and a moment at the wall. I can pick the direction for my moment at the wall. This is not an internal force. It does not have a sign convention. Now I want to do my equilibrium equations to find out what those reactions at the wall are. The sum of the forces in X says AX equals 0. The sum of the forces in Y, AY up minus 2 times 5 down tells me that AY equals 10 up. And the sum of the moments I have, if I take it at A, at the wall, I have only the distributed load, 2 kilonewtons per meter, acting over 5 meters. That's the equivalent point load. It acts at halfway out, 2.5 meters out. That moment is this way. My moment at the wall is the other way. So those are opposing and my moment at the wall is 25 kilonewton meters. Now what I want to do is I want to take a section of the beam, just a little bit of it. I can put my, my equivalent, my reactions at the wall on my beam. So I have AY is 10 kilonewtons up and my moment is 25 kilonewton meters counterclockwise. Now I want to put on my beam the distributed load, only a piece of it, not all of it, and certainly not an equivalent point load. Just the piece of the equivalent load of the distributed load that acts over my piece of the beam. I also want to add the internal loads with appropriate sign conventions. So this is the left hand part of my beam. V goes down, N goes to the right, and M is a counterclockwise moment. Now I want to do equilibrium equations for my piece of the beam. The sum of the forces in X tells me that N is equal to zero, and that's going to be true for all X. The sum of the forces in Y, I have 10 up, and I have minus 2 times now X, because this is only X of the beam. It's only a bit of the beam. And I have minus V. So V is 10 minus 2X in kilonewtons. That's also true for all X. And I can take the sum of the moments at the break and set it equal to zero, and I get 25 minus 10 times X, because those are opposing directions, plus 2x, that's my equivalent point load, it acts at a distance of x over 2, and plus m. So m is 10x minus x squared minus 25. That's true for all x, because this free body diagram will work anywhere x between 0 and 5. Now all I have to do is graph it. V in kilonewtons starts at 10, because that's the reaction at the left-hand end. It's the y-intercept, v equals 10 minus 2x. And I have a slope of minus 2 that decreases linearly to 0. My moment starts at negative 25. That's the y-intercept for that curve. And that curve is exponential concave down until it gets to 5, where you're at the end of the beam.